Okay, so in this question we have a pair of vertically opposite angles, okay, and it's making up an umbra sign. Now, if we look at our question, we have an overall length of 200 millimeters. At the side here, we have a 20, 20, and 20. So logically, at the right hand side, we'll also have a 20, 20, and 20. So I'm going to start in the center of my page by drawing a horizontal construction line, measuring my 200 and then 20, 20, and 20. So we're measuring 200, we're going to measure 20s on the left and on the right. Very good. Now, if we look at our question, when we look at our question here, we'll see that we have an angle here of 50 degrees. So that means that this angle here is 50. Now, as we know, half of 50 degrees is 25. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my protractor. And using my protractor, I'm going to measure an angle of 25 degrees. Now, I'm going to do that on the bottom as well. And please remember, 25 is not equal to 24 or 26. It is 25. I'm going to do the same on the right-hand side. Now, if we spot, we can bring this straight down vertically, and that'll give us this outside one. So I'm just going to darken it now, my outside shape. Lovely. Now, what we have here when we look at our question is we have a series of parallel lines. We have one two, three, four parallel lines. So what we need to do is we need to draw lines parallel to the side. So we're going to get our two set squares. I'm going to line up one of my set squares. It does not matter which set square. I'm going to line up one of my set squares and put the other set square here on the left. And we're going to slide, hence why we call it sliding set squares. And that's going to give us our angle here, our angle here, and finally our angle here. Now, we're going to do sliding set squares on the bottom, so I'm just going to line up my set squares and slide. Very good. We'll go up here now. I'm going to use a different side of my set square to show you that it works. So we're going to put our set square here, line it up here on this side. So this one is not moving. Slide. Okay, and finally, on our bottom part here, line them up. Lovely. Now, as we can see in our question, it's also after being colored in. It is absolutely vital. I'm just going to zoom in here so we can see it properly. It is absolutely vital that when we are coloring in that you can still see your construction lines afterwards. So it is so very lightly with your coloring pencil very lightly. Remember, a person a couple of meters away should not be able to see the colors. They should be so light. Okay, and this is our umbro sign fully completed. As you can see, you can see all construction lines still under the colour, which is very important.